Hello, it's Mark from Worth It Repairs by Mark, and this is a MacBook Pro uh, 2020 M1 chip. You want to remove the six PL4 screws from the bottom there. Then you want to get out a metal pry tool to start from the top hinge corner and work your way around and pop the clips that are in the middle, uh, pop those out, and then you'll be able to... Uh, lift from the bottom and be able to slide it out so it slides out and pops off just like that. The first thing you'll want to do is disconnect the battery with a plastic spudger and it's this connection right here and then get out a T5 screwdriver and remove the screw from the battery and lift it up with your finger or a spudger. Next, you'll want to um, remove the P2 screws, Pentalo 2, and um, they're right above where the fan and heatsink are. Up on the top, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, um, the Wi-Fi antenna. You want to remove all those. There's like uh, about 12 of them. So here, I'll speed up the video a little bit so that we can get through it pretty fast here. Next, you want to get a T3 screwdriver and unscrew the hinge covers up on the top right and the top left, the little plastic covers. And then also you want to keep that T3 out and unscrew the brackets covering the display connection. Now it's time to get out the T5 screwdriver and uh, unscrew the one with the Wi-Fi ca uh, cable connections, also the ones that are holding down um, the LCD bar. And uh, I'll zoom in here on it and I'll show you how to take off the Wi-Fi antenna. Oops, I dropped my spudger. Alright, so you want to take off it with the pointy end of the spudger. And then pry right in the middle there, there's a kind of a hole and space where you can pry. I can, uh, grab my metal, metal pry tool and then really pry it out. And then just give it a gentle jiggle, jiggle and then you got it out. Now it's time to get out my T8 screwdriver and loosen up the hinges. And I'll show you how to take off the screen. All right, you just want to take all but one of the T8 screws out so you can flip it on its side and open it up and then unscrew the last ones and then you can just slip it off just like that. All right, it's time to put the new screen on. You want to tilt it on its side, get those ribbon cables nice and organized. Wasn't on right, so I pulled it off again and then got it organized, got it on there. Put in two T8 screws on each side of the hinge. Don't tighten them all the way, just tighten up so you can close it and then make sure you got all your room on your ribbon cable connection. And you want to start putting all the T8 screws back in. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe. I'll be making more guides here. You can also look up me, look me up on iFixit. I have a bunch of guides on there as well. Um, I'm just going to speed up this part and it's just a reassembly of the test. Um, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to because all you got to do is put it back together the way you took it apart.